Cobia Fan Channel is all about Accra Hearts of Oak. We bring you team news ahead of the second leg game against JS Sora in Algeria. Please kindly subscribe to our channel to help grow this channel. Hearts of Oak are traveling to Algeria to honor the second leg game against JS Sora in the CAF Confederation Cup this coming Sunday. The team Hearts of Oak moved from Accra to Côte d'Ivoire and are currently in Istanbul moving to Algiers then from Algiers to Bakr where the match will take place. The Phobians won the, the first leg by two goals to nil and will want to win or draw in the second leg to make qualification more easier or a defeat by a lone goal will be enough to qualify to the group stage of the competition. In the squad is Salafu Ibrahim who was subbed off in the opening minutes of the second half due to injury concerns is in the squad after an assessment from the team doctors prove his in good shape to play. Caleb Amarqua and Larry. Sumela who did not make it to the squad in the first leg are in the squad this time. Gladson Awako who joined Heart of Oak from Great Olympics trained for the first time since September with the first team. Gladson Awako is not part of the trip to Algeria due to visa processing issues. The visa processing started with his teammate and was completed before Awako was deemed fit to play. Processing of visa takes time. If God permit and Hearts of Oak qualify to the next stage Awako will. Be part of team. Awako is okay and he is still training waiting for the league games when the team return back home with sweet victory. Robert Addo Sowa, The Rock is out with little illness and will be back very soon. The following are the 23-man squad going to Algeria goalkeepers, Richard Atta, Richard Beidou, Richmond A.E. Defenders are, Mohamed Al Hassan, Nuru Sully, James Sirwarnu, Randy Ovuka, William Danke, Fatawu Mohamed, Larry Sumela, Caleb Amankwa, the midfielders. Are Salafu Ibrahim, Salim Adams, Frederick Ansabachwe, Emmanuel Nedi, Isaac Agyenam Boateng, Siraj Saidu. Attackers are Enoch Asabantang, Isaac Mensa, Daniel Afri Abarnia, Patrick Razak, Kofi Kordzi, Victor Adu. Hearts of Oak have signed an agreement worth 1 million Ghana CDs with National Lottery Authority. The event took place on Monday, the 29th of November 2021. This is what Honorable Sami Awuku and Vincent Sowa Odote said at the ceremony. At the NLA, we are proud to be associated with this partnership deal, which will give House of Folk 1 million Ghana cities within the football season for 2021-2022. Ladies and gentlemen, at the House of Folk and the National Lottery Authority, we have we share similar beginnings. The NLA started from a very humble beginning and will be 60 years next year. A car House of Folk also started from a very humble beginning. And today, they are the oldest surviving football club in the country. We believe that as we move beyond COVID, and as we also try to bring the love back to the stands, the NLA, as part of its 60th anniversary, which will be next year, decided to share this good news with the sporting fraternity and the millions of supporters of the great Accra House of Folk. In doing this, our management and board decided that we extend this support to this great team. And we are proud to say that the various trips from your management to the Fortune House has yielded the needed dividends. And I'm happy to also note that a brother, a friend, and confidant today is a politician, so I can introduce him. That's Aziz Futa, also of Chapter O, and the National National Coordinator of the process with the football industry is that you want to see the football industry grow. And DJ, in your speech, you said that post-COVID, you're right, things are very tough. Limited attendance is a stadium um, with the onset of digitization as well. It has changed the dynamics of the, the revenue flow uh, to football clubs. So, what you have demonstrated is clearly something worthy of praise. And we are very grateful and, and we, can, we can assure you that we will continue to support this partnership. We need to commend NLA for, uh, for making this move. I'm sure, you know, they are not only supporting Hearts of Hope, but they are partnering with our, our friends and our colleagues at Santi Kodoko. It is important to grow the football and, 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 to, and to make sure that the clubs will also have it to be a feeling for us to manage football. As I said in my speech, by partnering both Hearts and Kotoko, 
we all know football goes beyond uh, uh, political boundaries and brings a lot of money. So by sponsoring both halves and quarter call, it's a unifying uh, gesture that will make sure that uh, it brings all the football, all the rivalries to bring all of us together. So once again, uh, let's all commend NLE for this guest and I hope other corporate entities in Ghana will take a cue. The Craw Hearts of Oak SC talismanic midfielder is set to be sponsored by global kit manufacturing firm Umbro after a stellar campaign across the 2020-21st domestic football season. Reliable sources says Umbro, who are the official kit partners to Accra Hearts of Oak SC are ready to kit the poster boy for a period of two years. The deal will see Umbro providing kits from boots to causal wares for a reported two-year deal. Officials of Umbro will meet the leadership of Ibrahim Salafu. During the ongoing 2021-22 domestic football season to finalize the terms and conditions of the deal. As part of the deal, Umbro will give the player an annual shopping package that allows the Ghanaian player to transact on all Umbro shops at his choice. The left-footed prodigy scored the opening goal for Accra Hearts of Oak SC in their 2-0 CAF Confederation Cup playoffs clash with Algerian side JS Sora. A message from coach Samuel Bodu, going into the return game, I have. Learned a lot from the WAC game, so strategically we need to strategize very well for the second leg encounter. We would do our maximum best to qualify, he said. I urge all Hearts fans to keep calm and this is the time we need their support. They should motivate the boys when things go wrong and at the appropriate time, he added. This is a message from Salim Adams also to Hearts of Oak supporters forget about our traveling arrangements it's part of the game. Thank God, God has. Gifted as coach Samuel Bodu, he's our motivator, father, advisor and our everything. We can reach at Algeria on Sunday and start the game immediately we arrived we don't care, our focus is qualification nothing else. All we need is to wear our rainbow colors and remember that we HV great supporters who always with us in high spirits. We're going for success and we don't know what is called tiredness. Fatah Mohammed and Mohammed Al Hassan also spoke ahead of the game. Uh, I come back and say it's, it's our job to deliver. It's not our job to lose matches. We are playing body and the technical team. You know, when you lose a match, you end up, no, you are not in anything. But when you win, you have to get something in your pocket. But we losing is not the hobby that we decided not to lose. You know, sometimes football, there is a lot of things in football. But we thank Almighty Allah for bringing us back in the winning race that they should be patient with us. You know, now that when, when the season is over, we, we build up the team with a new uh, players. So it's not easy to adapt when we come to a big club like us of Folk. So play, new players on by the is they say, it's my easy, or it's my boss, but as gradual process, you know, process, we'll be in the rhythm, then you see us Folk coming back. And the chances that we are getting that we can score, day in day out, we are working out in the training grounds, we are doing everything possible so that when the chances come so that we can able to bear of the caliber of competition the peak but of me it Oh, we're talking about chances. Okay, in football, it will be possible. Uh, I'm not buying a show much. And I uh, bet my call, I'll share. I'm not going to draw. It will be possible in football. Me, I can say, your yeah, chance, I want to, your GTO, I wish you say, you bet me qualify uh, coming next Sunday. Your chance is there. Uh, high. My predicted. Lineup for Accra Hearts of Oak against J.S. Sora is goalkeeper Richard Atta in the goal post, captain Fatah Mohamed at the right back position. The two central defenders will be as usual Mohamed Hassan and James Swernu who step in for unfit Robert Atto. Randy Ovuka who came to replace William Denki in the second half of the first leg will start. The midfield will be Salafu Ibrahim, Frederick Ansa and Caleb Amarqua where Salafu Ibrahim will be playing as a roaming number. Ten ahead of the two in the midfield, on the flanks will be Daniel Barney and Isaac Mensah and Kofi Kordzi leading the attack.
The formation will be a 4-3-3 compact so we don't give space to the opponent to play their game. When we out of possession and when we are in possession it will be a 4-2-3-1 where Caleb Amarqua and Ansa Bachwe will be in front of the back four and Salafu Ibrahim joins Kofi Kordzi, Barney and Isaac Mensah in attack to give us the goals. My prediction is Accra Hearts of Oak will win by two goals to nil. Goals will be scored by Kofi Kordzi and Isaac Mensah. To know more about the Algerian side JS Sora go and watch the preview for the first leg which is in the link above and on the screen or search on the channel. Thank you for watching kindly subscribe and turn on the bell notification so when we upload more updates you shall get know quickly. Thank you so much for your time.